Hi everyone, this is May and welcome again to my channel Fanatation. My review today is of Kun Chai Putipat, starring James Jiryu as Kun Chai Putipat and Bella Rani as Gong Kiao Bun Mi. This 2013 drama was James' first drama. The drama is directed by Patel, who also went on to uh, direct James in Neng Nai Suang or Only You in My Heart and then uh, Lasso for a Swan or Buang Hong and most recently Park On Son Rap or Prophecy of Love. Mem Titima, the producer of Kun Chai Putipat, has also worked with James on Neng Nai Suang and Pisawat Kata Game or The Deadly Affair that James is currently filming with uh, Gina Salas. That is a highly anticipated drama but filming has been delayed several times because of the ongoing COVID situation. So the Judah Depp series was a special series commissioned uh, in 2013 to celebrate Channel 3's anniversary. I think the whole series is very watchable except maybe for um, Kun Chai Taraton, the first one, because it had to lay the foundation for the whole story so it was a little bit draggy and it was not as interesting as the other four. So the elders Kun Chai Taraton, played by Great Warren Ton. Now the second brother was played by Pope Tanawat and it was actually because of Pope that I discovered the Superbaru series. Like many international fans, my foray into Thai Lakon started with Bupe Saniwat and because I liked Pope in it so much, I found Kun Chai Pawanwood. Now he is really good as the you know downtrodden Kun Chai Pawanwood and he has lovely chemistry with Miu Nita but it was from uh, Kun Chai Pawan Wood that I discovered Kun Chai Putipat and I'm sorry Pope, you were no longer number one in my eyes. Bom Tanin plays uh, Kun Chai Rat Chanon number four. Now, I like Bom, but uh, he is rather a stiff actor. He is saved by the fact that the story for Kun Chai Rat Chanon is actually one of the stronger ones in this series. And then the final brother, Kun Chai Ronapi, who is quite a cheeky uh, fighter pilot, was played by James Ma, and that is also a good one in the series. So what exactly is Supaburut Jutatep about? It's about five brothers who have the same biological father, but they come from three different mothers, and all four parents die in an accident when they are making merit in Chiang Mai. So the boys are brought up by their grandmother, Mom Ya Yet, and her half-sister, uh, Ya On. Now because of a pact that their father had made with Kun Chai Tewa Prom, a friend of his who saved his life during an accident, there is a family pact that at least one of the Jutatep brothers should marry one of the Tewa Prom daughters. But as it turns out, this doesn't work out and they each find their own life partners. And this is the basis for the Jutatep series. So when Kun Chai Putipat first broadcast on Thai TV, James became a literal overnight sensation. He was on the front page of newspapers the next morning and fan clubs sprung up in Pantip, which is the forum that Thai fans go to to discuss entertainment. He started to appear on everything, be on something like 90 magazine covers within a couple of months. This show also led to the creation of James' first shipped couple with Bella called Jirani and there are many Jirani fans till today who just love this pair together. So in my previous review for Le Ban Pakan, which I will link here, I ranked it as number four. But as I was thinking about it again, I'm going to have to push Le Ban Pakan down to number five. I have seen it many times and each time I really enjoy it. It is a kind of a simple pleasure. It doesn't have a very complicated storyline, but it is just um, a relaxing watch. And my daughter will never let me forget that when I first watched James in Kun Chai Putipad, I thought he was okay, but I did tell her, hmm, I don't think he's that cute. Well, uh, I've had to eat my words many times since then. So if I really have to say some not so good things about this show, maybe the production quality is not that high compared to what we expect today. It's a little bit old-fashioned, but you know, this was eight years ago. And anyway, it's a period drama, so I think it's perfectly acceptable. So to me, the good things in this show are really so good that I excuse it for any of the flaws it may have. 
The first, of course, is our main man, Mr. James Jirayu. He is so charming and a real delight to watch in this show. At the time, James, I think, was only 18 or 19 when he started filming this, so barely out of training pants. He is very serious as Chai Pat. You know, Chai Pat is very upright and kind of a fuddy-duddy, very strict with his principles, scolds young students for wearing very short skirts. You know, he's kind of uptight until he meets Bella's character, Gronkel, and falls head over heels in love with her. Even though, uh, strictly speaking, she is everything that's wrong for him and his life. At times, it is very hard to believe in Chai Pat because he is such a baby with his baby fat and his cheeks. Even in that famous scene where he is taking a bath in the glong and then Gong Gao comes into the water and it is so cute and so endearing. How can you not fall in love with him? He hadn't fully developed a kind of an actor's way of delivering lines so sometimes his speech is still a little bit babyish and uh, his voice hadn't even completely broken and you could get these uh, high-pitched tones at times. For example, you know, when he's saving Gong Gao and Go! 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 Always makes me laugh, even though that's supposed to be a very serious scene. And though he tries to be this macho man who will fight to protect the woman that he loves, at times when he is bullied, all you can think of is stop bullying this small boy. Patel, the director who loves James, gave him a very hard time because he was a newbie. So Patel has said famously that he scolded James every day and James was having a very difficult time learning to act, um, trying to memorize his lines, you know, freezing on camera and then getting scolded for it. He had to do a lot of training in terms of dancing with pairs, learning how to stand, how to conduct himself as a gentleman, as a Kun Chai. For Bella, who played the country girl Gong Gao that Chai Pat falls in love with, I thought she did quite a good job. I wasn't super impressed. So she's supposed to be very innocent, but to have a lot of integrity and dignity despite the fact that she is very, very poor. But maybe because I had watched some of Bella's other dramas before I saw Kun Chai Putipat, um, this very innocent and soft and almost martyr-like girl seemed a little bit over the top to me at times and I wished she had had a little bit more gumption but I guess that's the way the role was written. But overall, I really do love Gong Gao, especially because Chai Pat loves her so much and Chai Pat can do no wrong and therefore I trust in his instincts a thousand percent. The chemistry between James and Bella was just stunning in this show and hence this led to their Ku Jin or shipped couple uh, Jirani, which remains very strong today and has a lot of fans. At the time, it is very hard to deny that James was absolutely infatuated with Bella. And who can blame him? He was a country boy who had just come to Bangkok to study and then got this lead role and he plays opposite this more experienced and absolutely gorgeous actress. I mean, can you really blame him? But that worked so much in his favour for this show. And um, I have always enjoyed seeing James and Bella together, even though I don't harbour any hopes that they will be a couple in real life. I think as fans, we should know how to distinguish between reality and fiction and leave their personal lives alone. In Kun Chai Putipat, their love scenes are very sweet but very chaste. I think the furthest they ever went was the kiss on the forehead at the end of the show. But they filmed the five couples during uh, Chai Pi's wedding and there is footage of James kissing Bella on the lips. Run. And will absolutely satisfy all our Chai Pat and Gong Gao fantasies. What were some of my favourite scenes from Kun Chai Putipat? Of course, we have to mention the moment when Chai Pat first laid eyes on Gong Gao. This is really a moment that will go down in history and all James G fans will know it very, very well. Another part of the show that I really liked was when Chai Pat ran away with Gong Gao to Hua Hin to keep her safe. You know, this very uptight, morally principled 
guy running away with a female to his parents holiday house. I mean that is really naughty and I respect Chai Pat for that. There's also that really lovely sweet scene where Chai Pat accompanies Gong Kiao to the hospital where she is waiting for her father to come out of an operation and she falls asleep in his lap. I think uh, Chai Pat enjoyed it a lot and I think James probably enjoyed it quite a lot too. And of course, who can forget his passionate appeal to Mom Ya Ye and Ya On when he is uh, fighting for Gao's dignity and integrity. I mean, I thought James did such a nice job in that show. Besides gushing about James and how cute he is in this show, I also really loved the Superburu Junatep series because of what it taught me about Thai society and some of their social mores and their hierarchical structures. It was so interesting to me because I come from a country that does not have royalty or nobility and peerage. So it made me want to go and find out more and read up more about um, bloodlines and royal lineage. And for those of you who are interested, I have posted my translation of an interview that Pa Chao gave trying to explain some of these things in uh, the Superburut series and I will link it here. Then of course, every good show must have good villains, people that we love to hate. So my first one is Ya On, the boy's um, grand aunt, half-sister of Mom Ya Ye. She is so bigoted and narrow-minded. It's just horrible to watch her in this show. And I think uh, the actress Metuk did a very good job playing this villain. In real life, she has worked with James quite a few times. She played uh, Nok's grandmother in Game Saneha as well. And uh, I think James is very fond of her in real life. But my goodness, she is just unbearable in this show. What made it worse was that she seemed to repent at the end of uh, Kun Chai Pawan Wood. And then she repeated her bigotry in uh, Kun Chai Putipat and then repeated it again in Rachanon and again in Ronapi. So you know, this lady just doesn't learn her lesson. Of course, we have to mention Marati, the second daughter from the Tewa Prom family, played by Noi Chotika. She also played the villain character whose name I forget now in Neng Nai Suang. Now, Noi is very good at playing the second lead a uh, villainous lady and you can call me superficial but there are two things that really annoy me about her in the show. The first is her dressing with those annoying silly little hats with the flowers on them which she also does in Neng Lai Suang so I guess Patel likes that look for his villains and the other thing is um, I don't like her voice. Uh, it's not her fault and it's not a criticism but you know some of us are just more sensitive to certain voices. And then of course, the big bad bully, Tan Pinit. Now Tan Pinit is a piece of work. This man is rich and powerful and he's a real bully and he's a real lecher and he's an absolute beast to his lovely, beautiful wife. I mean, he's really awful in this show. So Bella has famously said in an interview that when they were filming the scene where Tan Pinit almost rapes Grand Gel, it was so believable that um, she was truly terrified and she couldn't stop crying. Uh, but off screen, he is the gentlest, nicest man on earth. So, you know, kudos to him for good acting and for playing a character that we can hate. For those of you who really hated this actor in this role, please go and see him in some other roles where he's a nice, warm and fuzzy bear. Like when he plays Mang Mao's father in Neng Dao Fa Deo or One Sky One Land. I wanted to show all of you some of the merchandise that I've gathered about this series. So the first item I wanted to show you is this really nice uh, CD set that has the five Jutatep brothers and their partners. It's got all the theme songs from the five series. So on one of my trips to Thailand, I also picked up this very heavy volume of the five Supaburu Jutatep books. Some of you may know that I have been learning Thai for a while and I can understand it quite well. I can also read but quite slowly. I told myself that by the time I'm 80, maybe I can read Kun Chai Putipat. So this is Kun Chai Putipat, which is the third book and as luck would have it, the thickest one in the series. Each of the books comes with a little bookmark 
and this is our chai pad. So the last thing I wanted to mention is a really lovely theme song for the show which is called Terjerak Chandra Blau. My Ru or Will You Love Me? I don't know. It is sung by Nam Ronadet who played Kun Chai Pratapon in Nang Lai Suang. So that's a little tidbit for you. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed making it. And till next time, take care and stay safe everyone. Bye!